Hello, my name is Naveen Kumar. I am an Adobe Lifecycle Consultant at R3 Technology Solutions Inc. At R3 we provide solutions and training for Adobe Lifecycle Enterprise Suite applications. During the course of this process development training, we will build an application called Forms Development Process at Enterprise Setting to give you an overall idea of process development using Lifecycle ES2. This application is an hypothetical workflow that resembles a lifecycle forms designing environment in most big organizations. Generally forms development at big organizations involves designers, testing team, uh, agents, our requesters, our approvers, you know, people who actually request a form. Then, what we are trying to do today is we are going to automate this whole business process. Okay, and for this, we will be building uh, orchestration process, and which is also known as short-lived process and we will also build one long-lived process which involves designers, testing team and approvers and human interaction so we call it as human-centric or long-lived process so for this application we will also be using tools such as uh, and the workflow, admin UI, workbench, designer we'll all explore these tools just to give you an idea of what all these tools do together and uh, then we will be discussing about lifecycle services uh, which we also use in our workflow in our business process automation process and uh, by the end of this short tutorial I will show you how to add users to your user management through admin UI and uh, let's just discuss about our application its use cases what we actually do with this uh, application you know and uh, what initially the um, authors or form designers move the XTP and PDF to a watched folder this watched folder picks these documents and stores it in uh, content services and then assigns it to a testing team. Testing team tests this form for functionality and you know they can do two things. One they can approve the form and they can deny the form. When they approve the form it goes to the approvers and approvers again review the form for content and they gain functionality and so these are the actual form requesters so they know what the content is and how the form should work for their end users and then if they are happy with this form they move this form to a production there and then if they are not happy or they need some changes more changes then they will send it back to the designers with some comments so that's the overall concept and throughout this tutorial you know throughout this process development we will be using several services uh, such as user service reader extensions content repository services and write document LDAP things like that this is our final short-lived process which actually picks the documents from the watched folder and stores it in content uh, services and then throws an event. This event will be cached in a long-lived process and then it finds the right group to you know assign the task and then it gets the document from read Read, uh, content services and reader enables it and assigns it to the reviewers or testing team then the testing team approves it 
for the request or approval to you know uh, move that form to the production so this is the overall scenario and uh, throughout this process development we will be exploring and you know making changes and editing configuration parameters to our process or services things like that